Hey YouTubes, how's it going? I have noticed that when after riding the Dyna and I park it in the garage the next day there is a little bit of oil on the ground. So I ran my hand behind the inner primary and you can see that there is uh, wet oil. So I probably have a uh, seal back there behind the inner primary that's bad. So I'm going to go ahead and address that and um, I am also found a little bit of um, very small metal chunks when I drain the oil out of the primary. So I'm wondering if that race um, that the inner primary rides on is moved on me, which is common with these fifth gear bikes. So um, yeah, so we're going to take all this apart and get behind the inner primary and see what's going on. Now, while I'm hammering out, gently hammering out these tabs that hold these bolts in, hold them in place, it's important to note that these are one time use bolts. You should not be reusing these bolts when you take the inner primary off take, and put it back on. Just for peace of mind and safety, spend the 15 bucks or whatever it is. So hopefully you guys can see this. <clears throat> All up in here is completely dry. So I wasn't leaking where what's called a fifth gear seal, although I'll end up replacing it anyway. But all the oil is coming up from behind here. Uh, my shifter shaft might have been leaking a little bit. But if you guys can see, this race that I was talking about moved out on me. That race should only have a few millimeters of gap. So the fact that that's a good quarter inch or more, you know, that, that's moved outward. And the race was hitting the back of the inner primary, which was causing my metal debris that I saw. So I'm glad I'm addressing this now. If I would have just band-aided it and not taken care of this issue then uh, it would have caused me major problems down the road and possibly damaged my clutch basket. <laughs> 